Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how transitions work in PowerPoint, and in particular, when to put sound on a transition. So, at the top on the ribbon, you've got, you start from the Home tab, you can see across there you've got transitions, which I'm going to click onto now, and then you've got all of these pre-formatted transitions. And if you click on these, you get a little preview of what that would look like to your audience. If I just drop it down again. So you've got subtle, exciting, and then dynamic. So I'll just click on one of these dynamic ones. It's not that dynamic. And glitter, I think, is quite impressive. There you go. So that glitters. Now, this is just giving you a preview, and that transition is on this slide, but not the next slide. What you have to do if you've decided that that's the transition that you want, you have to apply to all. So if I click on apply to all, now they've all got the transition and you can see this little star symbol, which will give you a little mini preview of each of these. Like so. You've also got the duration of each of these transitions. So if I, at the moment, that's quite uh, quite a long duration, you can shorten that. So I'll just come down a little bit, apply to all, just go onto the top slide again and do a little preview. So that's a lot faster. And again, you can play around with this and then whatever you do, I, I recommend you apply to all. So you've got consistency throughout your presentation. Okay, that's okay. Now you can see that in full screen if you click on this little icon down the bottom here, slideshow. That will show you the same thing in full screen. And then you can just go through your presentation and the transition will display on every slide change. So this is the animation coming on this slide and then it will change over to the next slide, which is that glitter. I'll just press escape to come back down. So that's basically how you apply a transition to a slide or slides. Try not to do different transitions for each set of slides because it becomes a distraction to your audience. It's a great feature, but don't let it be a distraction. Now, the other things that you've got on this right hand side, in, in addition to duration, is advance on mouse click or after a time. So if I take that off and just put a time on that, just leave it like that. And then apply to all. What I've now done is applied a time. If I go into slide sort of view, that time of one second is on every slide. And again, if I put that into full screen, this will play as fast as it can automatically and just change over like so. It's impossible for it to do it in that sort of time frame. But there you go. You get the thing going. Press escape. Come back. Double click onto the title to get back into normal view. And then I'm going to take that off. So it's on mouse click. So that's an automatic timing. Apply to all. Remember to do that all the time. Otherwise you're leaving it on. If I go back to slide sort of view. You can see that those timings have now disappeared. Double click in there. Back to this. Now the other thing that you can do is sound. Now, there are some pre-loaded sounds which are pre-Roman in their age. They've been around a long, long, long time. There's nothing new about any of these. They're not something I would put on any presentation I was using. Uh, you can usually tell when people have just done a PowerPoint course when they've got these in their presentation. But I would try and avoid these. Again, they're quite annoying. Now, these on transition are not too bad. Don't ever think you can put these on the bullets coming in, um, like on this slide. Each time one of these comes in, have a, an explosion going off or something, because that is really off-putting. But you can actually attach these sounds to bullets as well as transition, even though we're on transition. What I would recommend you do, though, is if you've got a presentation to give to a large audience and you know it's going to be quite difficult to attract their attention at the beginning, you could play music or a video. We're doing music at the moment. 
when you're ready to go with your presentation, you can stop the music. Human nature would make us all look up if the music suddenly cuts off. So everybody doing their little chats when they're uh, coming into an auditorium, greeting their friends, etc., should look up for a few seconds, and that's your time to go. You have that few seconds there to grab the audience while they're just looking up because the sound's gone off. There'll only be a few arrogant people that carry on talking, but you, you, you've got an opportunity to grab their attention, and that's what I would suggest you do. So to do that, you go to where it says no sound, and then down the bottom to where it says other sound. Click on that, and then select the file that you want to play while the audience is coming into the room. So that's a bit of Beethoven, I'll put that on, it's an old file. So that will play while your audience is coming in. What you need to do is on the second slide, you want that to stop. So I'm going to sound, no sound, stop previous sound. So that will play, so this is like your entry, intro slide. That will be on the screen when people come in. The music will be playing. When you're ready to go, you'll just press enter. The music will stop and this will be your main starting slide. So you probably need to put some text on here. That's how I would use sound on a transition. I wouldn't use it any other time. You've got lots of options to put sound elsewhere, but on transition, I will just do it like that and then make sure you get it to stop on this slide. So that's all I want to talk about on this little video. Just a little bit of technique on how to use slide transition, different options you've got, timings and sound when and where and whether you want the slides to advance automatically or not. So hopefully this little video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.